Howard Rourke is selfish in the sense that he lives independently for the sake of his own personal happiness. Rourke has deeply held personal values that he pursues in life, and he pursues it purely for the sake of the joy that it brings him and for no other reason. So what is it that Rourke is primarily motivated by? Well, in a word, Rourke is motivated by his work, his work as an architect. Rourke has wanted to be an architect from his childhood. He's worked his way up through the building trades, you know, working on construction sites to put himself through school. And all he wants to do in life is to work as an architect to build buildings. What he finds enjoyable about it is the intellectual challenge of, you know, solving the problem of an architectural design. So when he gets an architectural commission or when he gets an assignment, he has to take all the different elements of that assignment, the site, the materials, the design specifications, the purpose and function of the building. He's got to put all of that together and create a building that satisfies all the requirements. It's, it's the intellectual challenge of integrating all of those elements into a design for a building. And not just a design for a building, but a beautiful design for a building. He has a passion for you know, creating works of beauty, for integrating form with function, and taking all the elements of the design of the assignment and making a thing of beauty out of it, creating a building that has integrity and harmony. This is what he's passionate about, and all of his buildings have a unique signature, a unique stamp on them, because of his passion for exercising his creative originality. You know, he's portrayed as a creative innovator who has a unique style of building. And this is what he's passionate about. This is what he lives for.